My name is Louis Fitek, and uh, I'm here with uh, Local 2, IATSE Local 2. Um, it's Halloween, and we are trick or treating for a contract from Champ Productions for the Riviera Theater, the Vic, and the Park West. We signed our union cards and uh, we went and voted. Uh, we won the vote. He's appealed and uh, we're here to get him to bargain with us and move forward. for their mistreatment of workers. After the jam production, workers democratically and legally voted to join a union, the company refuses to negotiate a contract with them. <laughs> Instead, the company has heaped upon these workers insult after insult violation after violation and we're here today to say that ain't right. That ain't right. That ain't right. Us religious leaders got together and we signed a statement about 50 clergy signed a statement telling Jam Production that what they were doing is immoral and that we wanted to meet with them and we haven't heard back from them. leaders, we believe in grace. Amen. We're going to give them one more chance. We're going to give them one more opportunity. And so our religious leaders here, Reverend John Thomas and Father Larry Dolling, are going to go up to the offices and try and meet with Jerry Mickelson right now. You're calling him? I will be in a second here. Clearly they wanted to... Somebody's arguing in there. She's talking to Jerry. Or was she? Just wanted to speak to Mr. Mickelson. Hi, this is Father Dowling. Well, can we deliver something for him? Hi, Father Dowling. Uh, we're sitting outside the door and we want to deliver a letter to uh, Mr. Mickelson. You have to call the police now. Okay. Okay. Well, uh, somebody let us in, so, uh, I mean, well, I mean, I mean, you can claim that if you want. That's fine. But somebody let us in. So anyway, oh, no, I, I understand. I understand. So you'll, you'll call the police if we stay here, is what you're saying. Okay. Thank you. That's our answer. They're going to call the police. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Father Larry and Reverend John Thomas. Right. So we actually got in the door. We got to the top of the hallway, and uh, they looked out real quick, and then they slammed the door on us. First of all, What's so we knocked on the door yeah. several right? times. Several times. Then I called, and what I got was you got in accidentally, <laughs> and if you don't leave now, we're calling the police. If wow. you don't leave now, we're calling the police. So I, wow. And I asked her again, what did you just say? She said, if you don't leave, we're calling the police. That was the response. Wow. And it was wow. uh, clear that uh, someone staff member was on the phone with Mr. Michelson. 
getting mm -hmm. instructions from him. Yes. Uh, we were finally told through the door to leave. I asked if we could leave a letter for him, and there was no response. Well, you all are not alone. Nope. There right. are <laughs> dozens, hundreds of religious leaders supporting you, and there are over 300 unions as a part of the Chicago Federation of Labor supporting you. So I would now like to call upon the Secretary Treasurer of the Chicago Federation of Labor, Bob Ryder. So how many times do I have to come out and be outside of Jam's offices before they do the right thing and sit down and negotiate a fair contract with the stagehands? Isn't that what we want? Yeah. Yeah. You know, my name, as CJ said, my name is Bob Ryder. I'm Secretary Treasurer of the Chicago Federation of Labor. I'm the luckiest guy in the world because I represent 300 unions that represent half a million working men and women here in Chicago and Cook County. Yeah. And, you know, every day I get, to, I get to do the work of the working class. People like my, people like my dad, people like my mom, people like, people like all the folks that are here. Folks who work in the entertainment industry doing the stuff that's behind the scenes. Not the things that you see on stage, but the things that make that show happen, That's right? right. That, you know, a band, a, 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 a people in a, in a theater, in a theater troupe, they don't just show up, walk on stage and do the show. There's right. a lot of work that goes into it. It's a lot of dangerous work. It's a lot yeah. of work that requires skilled craftsmen, people people hanging, hanging stuff off the top of the theater houses, people who um, are making sure that the sound's coming through um, properly. So people don't go death though if it's a though if it's a, a good metal concert we actually like that but <laughs> but but I mean that that's that's the that's the thing that I look at in terms of what we do here in Chicago I say all the time that we rep represent airline pilots to zookeepers you know bricklayers to people who um, you know work at the at, at like the United Center as ticket takers and I'm lucky because. Because that's really what our community is, is all these different people that do all these different jobs. And I would think that someone who's been in this business for this long here in Chicago and has worked in union um, production houses like Jerry Michelson would know that, yeah. right? Yeah. Would know that. And would know that we have a, you know, when you go all around Chicago, whether it's in the city itself, whether it's in, whether it's in neighborhoods like Chatham, or it's neighborhoods like up in the 41st Ward in Edison Park, or out by out by Orland Hills, Orland Park, or Des Plaines, you see these signs everywhere, Proud Union Home. And what I'd love to do is go into these places that Jam has that Jam has control of in terms of theater houses. I like to have that Proud Union Home sign up in there. Yeah. But I tell you what, we ain't there yet. We ain't there yet. But we're gonna get there because all these people that stand behind me here from Stagehands Local 2, all the folks, I see I see people who work over at Cinepa Cinespace Studios. I see people from the Musicians Union. I come out of the Heavy Equipment Operators Union. Uh, Christy Weber Landscaping's driving by. You know what? That's a union company. That's a union company. They have laborers and operators and all kinds of folks that work for them. Union company. Why can't Jerry Michelson do that? Why can't he make his place as a proud union home? You know what? I buy I buy tickets to concerts, right? I, I'm I'm an old guy, but believe me, I still buy I still buy <laughs> tickets to concerts. So do my friends. So do that half a million people in the labor movement. Their kids. Guess what? We're we're gonna keep raising awareness around this issue. Do the right thing. Get your contract done. Yeah. All right. All right. All right. All right. file an unfair labor practice against Jam Productions because they refuse to meet us at the bargaining table and negotiate an agreement in good faith. This is something that is not an unusual request to come to the bargaining table. That is normal. That's what people do. They bargain for conditions. They bargain for terms. They bargain for wages and benefits. In fact, we have hundreds of contracts with producers and promoters, the largest of which in the world for musical events is Live Nation. And Live Nation actually issued a statement that says Live Nation has enjoyed 
a long and very strong relationship with Local 2 of the IATSA. We are proud of this relationship and excited to support the local by volunteering to recognize the union recently at the Aragon Ballroom. We did a contract just a couple months ago with the largest promoter in the world for music. And it was amicable. And this should be no different with Jam, but they refuse to come to the table.